Hey, <laughs> welcome to Chris BI. My name is Chris Wagner, and today have I got a kiss for Microsoft Fabric and for you. <laughs> uh, so this is for Valentine's Day. Um, uh, so just thought it would be very appropriate to talk about how you can keep it simple, silly, and how critical that is in any Fabric, Power BI, or straight up solution. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do the whole YouTube thing, really appreciate it. If you want early access to this content for as little as $5 a month, you can, if you become a member, you get early access to all these videos. All right, so uh, what are we talking about here? Kiss, keep it simple, silly. Um, as we're working in these tools, we go deep into all sorts of how you can use the medallion architecture, how you can use different components inside of Power BI. But straight up, you need to keep these solutions as simple as possible and only add in complexity where necessary. I'm gonna show you an, a, a great example of this, okay? So I'm gonna head over into my uh, workspaces. I'm gonna head down to my reporting workspace and let's actually take a look at this, okay? so. Inside here, uh, I can use, and I could use this visualization task flow. It's actually pretty simple. Now I can hit create and it's all created. How awesome is that? I've got this together. But if I didn't need that because I only have a report, don't do it, right? It just clutters things up. Um, you don't have to go in and do these things. But we've got, in a lot of cases, if I zoom in here, you could see I've got a report and I've got a data set that goes with it. All right. This is not the best practice. I mean, don't do this if you're trying to file the enterprise scale solution. It's not a good thing to do. But for the purposes of what I was doing, it made sense. So I put it together. I didn't have a need for the daily news uh, feed to be coming off my enterprise model. If I did, I would put that together. Same thing is true if I, if I go down to my, um, uh, let's see here, my dark Power BI report and scorecard. These, these are components that go together. It's a report, right? It's a data set that goes along with it. And I've got a scorecard and data set that, that accompanies it. That's what was necessary for that solution. I don't need to have that for every single solution that I roll out. I don't have to have a scorecard in each one, but sometimes I need to. So then I do, okay? It's just incredibly important for you to understand what it is you're trying to accomplish, and then what are the minimal steps necessary to get there, okay? Don't overcomplicate your system. Don't necessarily build out a thousand data flows to feed a semantic model to then share your report unless you're having issues with your loads on your semantic model. If your semantic model is failing to load on a regular basis, Break it up into data flows so you can actually like load all your flows at a time and figure out what's what's breaking. And then you just have one load that you have to troubleshoot and then you optimize that one thing, right? Make your solutions as simple as you possibly can because the reality is everything that we're looking at here and that we're talking about, does it really add value? Well, the components don't. It's the insights that we get from it. It's the actions that we can take. So don't go in and just say, hey, I'm sitting down. I, I'm looking at my fabric and development stuff. I'm going to start creating basic data analytics. I'm going to do the medallion architecture. I'm going to do Lambda functions, right? I, don't, 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 don't. Use the components that you need to inside your solution and keep, a, keep it as simple and clean as you possibly can, all right? Now, you might say though, Chris, hey, this looks horribly complex here. What are you doing to manage it? Well, that's true. That's exactly why in this case, it makes great sense for me to use these new task flows so I can easily hone in on components or I can look at them all together. It just, it, it, it can really help me out, 
so in this case, it makes sense for the data visualizations to be in place. If I go and I look at, let's say, my data analytics test environment, I don't have anything in here. Maybe it's not, doesn't make sense to use test flows. But regardless of whatever it is, try and keep your solution as simple as you possibly can. All right. That that's you know, I love the tech. We love those capabilities, but it's the insights and the abilities that we bring to our users that's most important. Hey, I hope this makes sense to you. Um, there's a lot of new tech in there. Um, it's exciting to you know to use it when you need those components, but if you don't need the components, it's okay. Keep your solution simple, keep yourself happy. Heck, keep your wife happy or significant other or dog or whoever happy when you can free up your time to go do other things. All right. You have the best day ever. Peace. All right. And if this is too complex for you, I get it. Head over to create or bakertilly.com slash digital. Click on the get more information or get some help. Fill out a little form myself or one of my cohorts will like reach out to you and we'll, we'll get you taken care of. Don't you worry about it. It's going to be okay. But if you think you can do it, and frankly, I know you can, check out these two videos here that will help you become your own data guide.